So to give you guys an update on yesterday's video, it looks like Internet Computer ICP did not close yesterday's daily candle below support at $9, which is bullish price action. Because if you guys haven't watched yesterday's video on ICP, I actually gave out a warning and I said that if we do see Internet Computer ICP close the daily candle below support at $9, then pretty much we could move down towards a swing low at $8.5 and a break below the swing low could mean that we could move down towards the next support at $7.4 US dollars but luckily we didn't close yesterday's daily candle below $9 as a matter of fact right now we have opened in a green candle and we are moving towards the upside which like I've said if we do close the daily candle above support at $9 there is essentially nothing to worry about and right now, again, we are pumping. So I'm going to be giving you guys a quick update on ICP, give you guys my current thoughts on the market and the important levels to look out for. So without any more intros, I'm going to jump straight to the charts. So right now we are in the four hourly time frame. And as you guys can see, it looks like ICP is the only coin that is essentially, um, oh, it's on the red right now, but essentially right now it looks like ICP is, is pumping. And right now, it looks like there are two scenarios that could play out. Either we could move sideways within this range in the next couple of days until we do see um, bullish price action return for the Bitcoin price in the entire altcoin market. If that does happen um, due to the Bitcoin ETF occurring, we could see ICP rally towards our next target, which is the next resistance at 15.5 US dollars. So like I've said, I've, I've said this many times, my view still remains the same. And I'm just, um, I'm just essentially laying out the potential scenarios that could happen in the short term, but in the midterm, I still expect that we could see ICP smash um, the next target, which is $15.5. That is the next major resistance level. So right now, it looks like we are essentially moving sideways. And I'll, I would like to tell you guys, if we do see ICP break and close the four hourly candle above this higher range of the VWAP, then we could move back we could move back towards a swing high at 11.9 US dollars. So that is if we do see ICP close the four hourly candle above this again higher range of the VWAP. If we do see the four hourly candle or much better, if we do see ICP close the daily candle above this higher range of the VWAP, then that, that signifies that we could see ICP move towards the swing high at $11.8. So if we do also see ICP flip the swing high, wait a second, if we do see ICP flip the swing high to support, such as this like that, if it flips to support, and that would be very, very bullish for the ICP price, because again, if we, cl if we, flip, this to, if we flip this to support, we could move towards our next target at $15.5. But again, for the bearish scenario, my view still remains the same. Like I've said, if we do see ICP in the coming days, close a daily candle below $9. We could move, we could move down towards a swing low at $8.4 US dollars. If we do break below the swing low, we could see ICP move towards the next previous support at $7.4. So those are the two scenarios. Those are the bullish case and the bearish case for the ICP internet computer price. So I'm just opening your minds to, of course, the two scenarios. It's, it's better to watch um, what could happen, the bullish case and the bearish case, rather than only focusing on one side of the story. It's better to be aware of all of the possible scenarios. So that's what I'm doing in today's video. So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop like, subscribe. And if you guys would like to trade Bitcoin and altcoins, then don't forget to sign up and buy Bit using my affiliate link down below and all of my socials are in the description. So thanks for watching this quick update.